with the Mastercard Foundation and Solidaridad present CORE, the COVID-19 Recovery and Resilience Program. Hello and welcome to the COVID-19 Recovery and Resilience Program, also known as the CORE Program. My name is Albert Okran. CORE is an initiative of the Springboard Roadshow Foundation in partnership with the Mastercard Foundation and Solidaridad. At CORE, we simply say learning together and growing together. Our target is the youth who form the core of the Ghanaian society and want to equip you in the areas of job readiness, health and wellness, and business skills to thrive first now and in a post-COVID-19 era. Today, we want to talk about a very important subject of the new normal. Someone will ask, why the new normal? Everything that we know socially, financially, economically, technologically, health-wise, has been disrupted and transformed by the COVID-19 pandemic since the beginning of this year. So by virtue of social distancing, restrictions on mass gatherings, etc., etc., business is not the same again. So we're looking at how to do business the new normal way. This will be a very interactive discussion, so I recommend that you get a dedicated notebook for the core program and write down your notes so you can refer over and over and learn accordingly. You also want to go to the website core.com.gh and download the workbook for this particular session, which is the new normal, and then work along with us. If you are a national service person in any part of the country or a beneficiary of the YEDIA program or the MASO program, this workbook would have been sent to you via your WhatsApp groups. If you have a question at any point in the program, do not hesitate to reach out to us. Your comments, your questions, your suggestions are welcome. Either post them on the core program, Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter page, or send them direct to us by WhatsApp on 055-153-5533. We have clinical psychologists, experts, and counselors on standby to assist you and to respond to your inquiries. In his best-selling book, Who Moved My Cheese?, Dr. Spencer Johnson tells a very interesting story about four characters. They lived in a maze and all of them loved cheese. And they had a regular place where they go every day to eat their cheese. One day, something disrupted them completely. They went to the regular place and the cheese was not there. Now, two characters, if I may call them Kwesi and Ama, responded immediately. They moved off looking for new cheese, and they went through the maze finding cheese. The other two characters, Kwame and Ajua, stayed behind, complained. They were disappointed. They kept asking, where is our cheese? Who moved our cheese? And they did nothing. The more they stayed and complained, the hungrier they got, and their lives were totally disrupted. Until one day, Ajua asked herself, why do I stay here till I die? So she set out looking for new cheese, and as she went, she saw signs that Kwesi and Ama, who moved ahead of her, had been moving in a particular direction. So she followed those signs and kept writing her lessons on the wall. Eventually, she found new cheese, and guess what? Kwesi and Ama were there. And from the look on their faces, they were very comfortable and they had been eating the cheese since they left. One would ask, so what happened to Kwame? Kwame stayed at the same place, asked questions, complained about the change, and did nothing until he perished. The lessons from this story are evident. So do me a favor. Take out your notebook and write down my lessons on who moved my cheese. I suspect you write things like, change is normal. The world is changing every day. Respond or die. Reinvent yourself or die. You may write that if you want to respond, respond quickly. Or you may write, don't sit down at one place and die. 
whatever your lessons are, one thing is certain. When the world is changing rapidly, you can't afford to sit at one place. And sometimes the changes that look like they are temporary are really permanent changes in the way things are done. And you can only survive and thrive if you learn how to do business in the new normal. So, let's go to your notebook and rule four lines. In the first one, write my business. In the second column, write how I do business normally. In the third column, write the disruptions I'm encountering. Then in the last column, write the new normal. So, let's do this together. In your notebook, write down first your business, what you do. Secondly, how you do business normally. Thirdly, what disruptions you are encountering. And then the fourth one, very importantly, how you are responding, the new normal. Let me use myself as an example first, and then we'll come to yours. Is that okay? All right, so let's start with mine. I am first a pastor and then an executive coach. So let's take two sheets of paper. Let me do the pastor one first. So as a pastor, what do I do? I care for the vulnerable, the widows, the needy, and look after their needs in congregational care. Then we also organize church services to preach the word and minister to people. Then we officiate weddings, funerals, naming ceremonies, baptisms, and other ordinances. Of course, the income source of a church is offerings and giving at church. For some time now, what disruptions have we faced? So social distancing, restrictions on mass gatherings, the fear of infection, and several other developments have made it literally impossible to do church the way that it should have been or the way we've been used to. How has church responded? Churches have had to organize services online and minister digitally different from what we've all been used to. They've also had to resort to Zoom meetings, Zoom programs, and other online offerings. Counseling has had to be done by phone instead of face-to-face -face with congregants. And giving has been done totally digitally in the new normal. So on my spreadsheet, I would have pastor, then I would have my usual functions in church, and then I would have how the disruption has affected us, and then I would talk about the new normal, what you and I have been doing differently in terms of church. Let me now move to my other area of engagement as an executive coach. So typically, I would organize media broadcast on radio and television, write books, articles, organize trainings, speak at conferences and gatherings, and then also do one-on-one -on -one executive coaching. Interestingly, the same changes in protocols, social distancing, restriction on mass gatherings, you can't do the things that you normally do. So the disruptions are restrictions on mass gatherings, the fear of infection, and of course, the fact that you cannot hold, let's say, a roadshow and gather thousands of people like we normally have been used to. How have we responded in the new normal? So our online broadcasts have been strengthened and instead of having every time guests on your show on radio, a lot has been done by telephone. One-on-one -on -one coaching is now done by telephone instead of face-to-face. -face. There have been virtual solutions to what was previously being done physically. Yes, there may be some losses in how things are done, but Interestingly, for every single thing we do, we've had to rethink innovatively about how to reach the same people, and in some instances, far more people than we're doing before by the power of technology. What does it mean? It means that for each of us, we can pull out our notebooks, create the four columns, and then write down what you do how you were doing it pre-COVID, what disruptions you are facing, and then the most important, the new normal, how you are doing things now to ensure that you survive, you thrive, and your business grows going forward. 
Let's end this interaction by taking out your notebook once again, and this time using your business as the case study for the new normal. So in the first column, write down my business. So it may be interior decorator, brick layer or mason, painter, caterer, hairdresser or barber, doctor or dentist, very interesting one, dentist, and then driver, banker, printer, dispatch rider. So I've given you 10 different examples. So write in the first column my business. Then the second column, write down how you normally do your business. So what you normally do on a day-by-day -day basis, dealing with your customers, serving them, providing solutions. In the third column, write how your business has been disrupted as a result of COVID-19 and the new protocols for social distancing, restrictions on mass gathering, etc., etc. Write it down there. Then the fourth column is the most important. Write down the new normal. How you are doing business now. What technologies you are deploying. What innovations you are using. What ideas you are using to survive and thrive. And also, what you could do differently to ensure that you can remain in business in spite of these very challenging conditions. One very helpful tip, find out what others are doing, similar businesses and what they are doing to survive and let that be a guide for you. Or go to businesses in other spaces and look at how they are responding and let that be a guide in designing your own solutions. You will find this a very fulfilling and a very rewarding exercise. Let me conclude by saying that COVID-19 and all the restrictions that come with it can be very frightening, scary, and intimidating. However, with innovation, with technology, and with thinking around the new normal, you can come out with ways to ensure that you can take advantage of new opportunities and go on to do even greater things in the midst of this pandemic than you were doing before. This has been a core program presentation brought to you by the Springboard Roadshow Foundation in partnership with the MasterCard Foundation and Solidaridad. If you have a question that has been unanswered or any feedback on this presentation, please reach out to us on the core program Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram pages or send it to us directly on our hotline 055-153-5533. So we come your way again in the next episode. My name is Albert Okran. Thank you and God bless you. A presentation of CORE, the COVID-19 Recovery and Resilience Program.